welcome back to the second session which is a discussion in three groups this group discussion will be in english we have a panel of seven speakers this session will be chaired by revered swami satyajit janananda ji maharaj on to his left are four swami ji's and on to his right are three conveners and the one at the last is shri yes pandurangan who is the convener of state tamil nadu state parishad he will be the rapporteur for this session the duty of the rapporteur will be he will note down the proceedings of this session and after this session is over there will be a uh, plenary session upstairs there he will present the proceedings of this session maraj with your permission we shall start now so our first speaker for this session is revered swami bodhamayananda ji revered swami ji is adhyaksha of ramkrishna math hyderabad he will speak on the topic let us live and preach the same ideal sangachadvam samvadadvam jananeem sharadam devim ramakrishnam jagadgurum पादपद्मे तयो श्रुवा प्रणमा मुहुर्मुहु नम श्रीयतिराजा विवेकानंदसूर सच्चिस्वूपय स्वामीनेतापहारिणे ऑफरिंग मै प्रणाम्स टू रेस्पेक्टेड चेरमन ऑफ दिस सेशन स्वामी सत्यज्ञानजी मै प्रणाम्स टू ऑल द सीनियर मॉन्क्स इन लव एंड बेस्ट विशेष to all the devotees and <coughs> participants of this session time is less and the subject matter is very vast directly coming into the subject the title taken from the rigveda about sangha shakti and harmony in speaking harmony in thinking ओम संगच्छध्व संबद्व संभो मनासी जानता भागयता पूर्व संजानासते मे यू मूव इन हारमोनी स्पीक इन वन वॉइस लेट युअर माइंड्स बी इन एग्रीमेंट जस्ट एज द एंशियन गॉड्स शेर देर पोर्शन ऑफ सैक्रिफाइस सनो मंत्र सीति सी सन मन सह चिमेशा सन मंत्रिमंत्रे सो हविषा जुहोमी मे अवर पर्पस् बी द सेम मे बी ऑल बी ऑफ वन मैंड इन ऑर्डर फॉर सच यूनिटी टू फॉर्म ऐ ऑफर ए कॉमन प्रेयर द लास्ट वर्ष ऑफ दी ऋग्वेद से सामनी व आकूति सामना हृदया वह सनमस्तु वो मनो यथा वस्सु सहासती मे अवर इंटेंशंस एंड एस्पिरेशंस बी लाइक सो दैट ए कॉमन ऑब्जेक्टिव यूनिफाइस अस ऑल दिस संगम एज अगेन एंड अगेन रेफर्ड टू इज लाइक त्रिवेणी संगम द कॉन्फ्लुएंस द कंजंक्शन ऑफ टुगेदरनेस when we go to allahabad or prayagraj we see triveni ganga yamuna and the unseen saraswati but here we have shri ramakrishna mother and swami ji all seen together teaching us together and blessing us and taking the ramakrishna sangha forward so how do i understand the main word ideal how all of us from different parts of the southern states or maybe orissa also as i understand let us live and preach the same ideal the same adarsham and for what for bahujana hitaya bahujana sukhaya that adarsham is not just for some puja some rituals some meetings weekends and then going home there's a very very high ideal shri ramakrishna has set for us holy mother has set for us the scriptures have given us whoever you are whether you are from karnataka or kerala or karnataka kashmir or whether you are northeast 
when you are under this umbrella we have all to follow the same adarsham that adarsham has been set by swami ji putting sri ramakrishna in front sarva deva devi swarupaya sri ramakrishnaya namaha we do that mantra in all our homas is it not when the homa mantra is done sarva deva devi swarupaya sri ramakrishnaya swaha that is the one ideal that we have to follow see sri ramakrishna see all 33 crores of gods and goddesses in sri ramakrishna sarva deva devi swarupanye sri sharada devi swaha let us see all the crores of gods and goddesses in mother sharada and shiva himself is swami vivekananda what more do you want sometimes we hear from in our discussions about samitis etc where they introduce the other kinds of worship also it is not at all necessary you have come to the final ganga to take you towards ramakrishna loka and moksha and that unnata highest ideal given to us is in the modern times when there are so much of difficulty so much of tension so much of worries so much of confusion sri ramakrishna brought all the sanyasis and the householders together in that small room in dakshineshwar just across the ganga the 16 disciples or maybe few youngsters sitting on his left side balram bos and others sitting on the right side and sri ramakrishna built a beautiful bridge as mentioned in the upanishad amrutasya setu the bridge to immortality he told the householders take care of this young boys and he told these young boys narendra and others to serve these householders that is why you are here and we are here ramakrishna sangha if sri ramakrishna himself would not have enacted this program the far sight and for sight of an avatar we would not have been sitting here he would have been in his own world some in rishikesh some in uttarkashi some in rameshwaram some in some other guha and think that we are the greatest and the next one the highest ideal that sri ramakrishna has given us the order has given us down the ages 125 years tyaji jati kula mai is another important ideal that all should follow kashmir to kanyakumari saurashtra to northeast though we are speaking in the english session english group it appears it appeals to the uh, everybody else the same samatvam yoga uchyate swami vivekananda on 9th december 1898 in belur mat he says from this center from belur mat from this center of universal toleration will go for the shining message of goodwill peace and harmony to deluge the whole world sarva vyapi sarvottama sarvagnaha shri ramakrishna all of us have come into that triveni sangam and what is the situation after 125 years is it so peaceful outside so happy comfortable man is not able to sleep properly ashantasya kuta sukham you go out in out of gt road you find what is kolkata what is india or go to hyderabad you find what is the suffering there hyderabad though it is a multi complex city and a it city second to bangalore they say bahar sharwani andar pareshani suffering 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 there is no house without sleeping tablet in hyderabad when america purchases 25 lakh sleeping tablets a day ashantasya kutas sukham <laughs> and the psychology statistics says india indians purchase 10 lakh sleeping tablets a day and sri ramakrishna has given us the parama shanti to sleep at the feet of the mother keep your head at the feet of the mother she will take care and holy mother says I, i'll be your shock absorber how much is shock she has taken for our welfare for our peace for our higher development 
How do you carry the work of Holy Trio amidst the stormy waters of the world and in the life too? What is the work that we are doing, whether in the northeast or south or east or west, whether in Chhattisgarh or whether in Jamshed, uh, in Tamil Nadu? Upliftment of the Indian masses, upliftment of the tribals, education, medical service, relief and rehabilitation, women welfare, everything boils down to one point, Sangat Chhadvam. The householder as much, the lay devotees are as much important as the monks and monks are as much important as the lay devotees. Paraspara Bhavayanta Shreya Paramavapsyata. By mutual cooperation, by mutual collaboration, let us take the message forward. And when we are meeting for a very long time, the devotees and the monks together for a particular cause, let us wholeheartedly, Kaye na vacha, manasendri erva, buddhyatmana va, prakrite svabhavat, karomi yadyat sakalam parasmai, Sri Ramakrishna yeti, samarpayami. May the Lord bless us all. Danyavadam. Many thanks, Maharaj. We will now request revered Swami Narasimhananda Ji Maharaj to deliver his speech on the topic, the necessity to be ourselves and to make others. Revered Maharaj is Secretary, Ramakrishna Mission Seva Shama, Kurikod, Calicut. I offer my pranams to Revered Swami Satyagyananandji Maharaj, Revered Swami Devarajananandji Maharaj, and all the sannyasis and sannyasinis present here. And I extend my warm greetings and namaskars to all the devotees present here. Swamiji famously said, be and make. We have countless times repeated this during the course of our various celebrations, studies. All of us know this is what we need to do. The challenge is, it's quite difficult to achieve. And we are given a legacy, a heritage of Sri Ramakrishna, Swami Vivekananda, Sarada Devi. And after that also, Luminaries, luminaries after luminaries of spirituality. And so, it becomes difficult for us to even grasp how much should we practice ourselves. So, first we need to understand that without ourselves practicing what we profess, we can't create any admiration or any following or any liking within the other people. So first, we need to take some goals, take some ideals from the lives of the Holy Trio, from the lives of all the great Mahapurushas this order has given. And take something which is doable, which we can accomplish and try following them in our lives. Swami Vivekananda said that this order, this Sangha is based on love because Sri Ramakrishna was love personified. And can we translate this love in whatever little way in our lives? That should be a question. Can we, without judgment, Except whoever comes to us as a devotee of God. Can we stop criticizing, particularly the young generation, for what they are wearing or what they are eating or what kind of thoughts they share? Such small principles we can start practicing. And by that, we will be able to spread some little love. And Leaders have to be created. One of the comparatively unfortunate things we face is whenever we visit a Bhav Prachar Kendra, we find a dearth of 
young people there we do not find much young people there people who are at the helm of affairs in most of the private centers as they are called are much senior so is it possible for us to create leaders who can follow the ideals of shri ram krishna swami vivekananda and sarada devi in whatever little way also if we talk about truthfulness if we talk about the stories of or the incidents of truthfulness in the life of the divine trio and also in the lives of many other great people of the order but if there is even a small want of transparency even a bit lacking of financial transparency or honesty otherwise do we really believe that youngsters today will follow us would they not think that there is some seriously something wrong in the ideal we are preaching and when swami vivekananda wrote the manifesto for plague the first line is quite interesting he says if you are unhappy we are unhappy if you are happy we are happy this is what is called sahanubhuti this is what is called empathy so can you be can we be more empathetic towards people who come to us instead of judging people can we create spaces where there will be no judgment non judgmental spaces of love sheer love we get this in so many instances from holy mother's life for whom as we very often say amjad and sharat both were equally important also shri ram krishna told us i learn so long as i live i learn javad bachi tavat shikhi in bengali do we or could we practice that can we make our life a life of learning learning from not necessarily from educational institutions or from online learning platforms but also from people not necessarily senior people but also from children can we learn whatever good is there out in the world from people can we surround ourselves like tulsidas used to say nindak need rakhiye means keep a critic in your home can we surround ourselves with constructive critics who will help us in creating constructive thoughts is it possible here i would like to quote from swami ji's swami vivekananda's letter to alasinga perumal which he wrote from new york on 19th november 1894 he keeps on saying that organization is very important that we have to think about the downtrodden the deprived then he goes on to say love sincerity and patience liberty is the first condition of growth just as a man must have liberty to think and speak so he must have liberty in food dress and marriage and in every other thing as long as he does not injure others we have this famous sanskrit adage devo bhutva devam yajet swami ji following that translating that into english he says first let us be gods and then help others to be god so are we trying to model our lives on the divine path shown by these three avatars and all the disciples after them because if we do that then there is no reason why people should not be attracted people should not come to our private centers by our very behavior people would become curious who are you how can you be so patient so non judgmental so loving what philosophy inspires you to do that when that question comes into the mind of every person who comes to a private center then we would be being and making 
Swami Ji says, Be and make. Let this be our motto. Say not, man is a sinner. Tell him that he is a God. Even if there were a devil, it would be our duty to remember God always and not the devil. Thank you. Thanks, Maharaj. We will next request revered Swami Parigneyananda Ji Maharaj to deliver his lecture on the topic power of organization and requisites to stay organized. Revered Maharaj is Secretary of Ramakrishna Mission, Raja Mahendravaram. Jananim Saradam Devim Ramakrishnam Jagadgurum Padapadme Dayo Shritva Pranamami Mahurmoho. My respectful pronouns to revered Swami Devrajanzi and all other Swamis on the dais. My special pronouns to Swamis who are all sitting here. Why special pronouns? Because they sacrificed their afternoon nap. My loving namaskars to all messengers of Sri Ramakrishna who came from different parts of our India. So, topic is given to me is power of organization and requisites to stay organized. First, power of organization. Immediately after lunch, we gathered here. Suppose if we are alone, what will happen? We will sleep, we will feel drowsy. But here, not possible because we can't feel drowsy, we can't sleep, because others are observing, we become alert. That is the power of organization. Of course, this is a lighter way. Power of organization. Swami Vivekananda, once in America, he told Mrs. John B. Leon, Mother, today I have had the greatest temptation of my life. Then immediately that lady said teasingly, Oh, Swami, who is she? Then Swami burst into laughter and said, No, 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 it's not lady. It's an organization. From this one incident, we can understand what is the power of organization, how Swamiji had got convinced with organized way, if you unite, if you work unanimously, unitedly, harmoniously, anything can, anything can be achieved. That's why Swami Vivekananda writes to Arsinga Perumal, Dear Arsinga, the secret of Westerner success is the power of organization. I have traveled all over the country and I had great conviction that no great work can be possible without an organization. So what is the power of organization we are seeing here? This is the evidence. This is the tangible, visible evidence that is Ramakrishna Sangha. So through this Sangha, so much good is happening. So time is limited. This is the power of Sangha. If we work together harmoniously, we can achieve anything. That's what Swamiji believed in that. There is a beautiful poem in Telugu. Balavantamaina sarpam chalichemala chayata jikki chavade sumati. Sarpam, snake, is very powerful. We know all. But chemalu, that's my ants, very tiny creature. If they come together, if they unite together, they can even kill the snake. That is the power of organization. That is why Swamiji believed in that organization. <coughs> what are the requisites? There, we can give so many things, but time is limited. Only few we can discuss. First requisite is, Swamiji himself said, we should have common goal. We should work for that. There should not be any difference of opinion. That is why being of one mind is the power of organization, Swamiji says. Suppose bullock cart is there. If one bullock pulls left side, another bullock pulls right side, where it will go? It can't go, it can't reach its goal. Similarly, if you want to succeed, if you want to achieve anything, there must be one mind, one thought. There should not be any difference of opinion. One common goal we should have. That is the first qualification, requisite that we need, characteristic, to stay organized. Second thing is obedience. It is very difficult. Pooja Ranganath Anjumara says, Obedience means not at the cost of self-respect. 
We often confuse what is self-respect and what is obedience. It is a huge subject, we cannot go through it, but we should have obedience. Whatever leader says, we should follow, then only we can succeed. And third one is, co cooperation and coordination and mutual understanding that we lack very much. Swamiji says, three persons in a concert cannot act five minutes in India. That means three persons cannot work together simultaneously five minutes in India. That means disobedience, no uh, cooperation, no understanding, no coordination. Everybody is struggling for the power. So we should have that cooperation, adaptability, understanding that Swamiji wanted. Another thing is criticism. This is a huge thing, very everywhere. Swamiji dead against this criticism. Those who criticize behind, the such people should be shunned away from the organization, he says. So criticism, we spend a lot of time in criticizing only. We, go, we don't take anything good out of it. Generally, we criticize anybody if you don't like. So another thing, last one, but least, the last one, this is, Swamiji says, it is termed it a national sin. It is a national sin. Other things, maybe individual obedience, criticism, and all these things. But Swamiji termed it as a national sin. What is that? Jealousy. Jealousy is the national sin. Swamiji says, we can get rid of anything but that cursed jealousy. We can't give up that jealousy. That is a national sin that we should uh, overcome and uh, we should get away from that. That is the main, quali main characteristic requisite to stay organized and do any great work. Finally, I will quote one incident and I will conclude. In March 1916, there was Ramakrishna Mission Annual General Meeting. In that meeting, Swami Brahmananda Ji Maharaj, Swami Saradananda Ji Maharaj, Swami Subodhananda Ji Maharaj, Swami Premananda Ji Maharaj, and Swami Suddhananda Ji Maharaj were present. Swami Suddhananda Ji Maharaj read out all accounts. After that, Raja Maharaj, Swami Brahmananda Ji, asked Baburam Maharaj, Baburam, give a piece of advice to the members who assembled here. Then Babu Ram Maharaj reluctantly said, what I can give, what advice? Then Raj, Raja Maharaj says little seriously, do you think they have come to listen only your income and expenditure? You tell something, some solid, some advice you give. Then Babu Ram Maharaj got up and said, elephants have two teeth for eating, one teeth, out on outside, one another one inside. Our social active service activities are like uh, elephant's teeth outside. Character is elephant's teeth inside. So we should have character. Without character, we cannot achieve anything solid and great. So we have to develop character. This is the main, first and foremost character, uh, quality we should have. So Swamiji promised us Swamiji promised us, let's be character be formed, then I shall be in your midst. So Swamiji promised, he will be with us, among us. When? When you develop character. Character means all these things will come. Mutual understanding, obedience, all these, they are free from jealousy, all comes into the character. That character, if you develop, it is easy to run the organization, stay together, work together unanimously and harmoniously. That Swamiji is. Finally, Swamiji says how to develop character. Swamiji says one, only one suggestion. In this age, you all should preach Sri Ramakrishna's message, his life, character. That is the spiritual practice, that is the tapasya, that is the austerity. From that, you can achieve the goal. So ultimately we are all doing Bhava Prachara meeting, so many messengers, that is why I addressed you all, messengers of Sri Ramakrishna, you are all carrying the message, we all should work for that, that is a spiritual goal, that is the tapasya, Swamiji said, so Rishi's words cannot be un untruth, so we all should follow Swamiji's uh, uh, command and may Sri Ramakrishna and Sarada Devi, Swamiji bless us and lead us properly. Thank you, Namaste. Thank you, Maharaj. We will now listen to revered Swami Vinish Chalanandaji Maharaj on the topic 
giving emphasis on regular worship nitya puja of thakur ma swami ji in the ashrama revered maharaj is secretary ramkrishna mission sita nagaram vijayawada sarva dharma sthapakastvam sarva dharma swarupakah acharya naam mahacharyo ramakrishnaite namaha my pranams to all the swami ji san dayas and of the dayas and my pranams to mata ji and dear devotees ramakrishna mission is a unique organization and it is our good fortune to be a part and parcel of this great organization this sri ram krishna mission is basis on tapasya and sacrifice renunciation lot of tapasya that is its asset and uh, there may be hundreds of spiritual organizations but for last 130 years day by day its glory is increasing like anything because of its unique nature spiritually oriented service organization spirituality is having great importance in this order service also is there no doubt but uh, foremost is spirituality and uh, we we are all true devotees and we believe that sri ram krishna is god himself and is perfect incarnation and we have many of us also have taken initiation and we are spending lot of time in the name of sri ram krishna and we are taking responsibilities running private samitis now we should never neglect the worship of sri ram krishna you may tell work is worship etc etc but here it is to be emphasized that uh, nitya puja are we doing nitya puja of sri ram krishna holy mother and swami ji that is the question it is to be done by an initiated disciple and uh, generally some setters i know they are engaging uh, some brahmin to do puja like any other temple that should not be because we believe that sri ram krishna is my own and he is god and i am worshiping him and uh, we are constructing big big temples are we maintaining it that is the question i have seen lot of temples some 250 people 300 people also able to sit but how uh, we, we should give importance for regular worship in our temples that is a must and foremost for that you should have some training always keep in touch with nearby centers and if you have any doubt you can clarify your doubts and learn puja and regular worship should be done in every private samiti that is my that is the topic given to me 
earlier in Rajamundri, when Swatmananda ji and other Swamiji's were there, they used to give training. 10, 15 people used to come from different places. One week course, they learn total Dasopachara Puja and they go. And they, they teach to others, they teach to others like that. Now also, if anybody comes, we are ready to teach Puja. Learn the Puja and do regularly in our Samitis without doing regular Puja, without keeping the sanctity of the shrine area, premises, whatever work we may do, that will go vain, that will be a waste. So, the place where we keep Sri Ramakrishna, we kept neat and clean. All the holy tree of photo should be kept, worship should be done, and learn the puja method from Ramakrishna mission. If anybody comes to Vijayawada, we are able to spend few days, we are ready to teach. Nearby ashramas, everywhere, near, nearby some 20, 30, 50, 100 kilometers away, some ashrama center will be there. You can learn, you can clarify, books are there. But I know for certain that many centers are not giving importance for Nitya Puja. It is to be done immediately, it should be done. Let us resolve taking this opportunity. Henceforth, we commit that uh, we will do Nitya Puja to the Holy Trio regularly. Because we are selected few. Sri Ramakrishna has selected us. That is why we have come to him. And uh, he is God himself. Once uh, to Manmohan Mitra, Sri Ramakrishna says, in this, he shows his body in this. Two persons are there. One is Jagajarani, the other one is her devotee. Both are living here. Sri Ramakrishna used to say, the what we see, hand broken, and uh, his uh, sufferings, uh, sadhana time, etc., etc. That is the bhakta. But uh, always, mother is there in him. Sri Ramakrishna, so we know Sri Ram, worshipping Sri Ramakrishna is worshipping the uh, divinity, divine mother, divine mother herself, because she is deciding in him. And not only that, uh, we have to serve also. That's what uh, once uh, Ramchandra, um, uh, Ramchandra Dutta, when Ram, Ramachandra Datta, he told Ramachandra Datta, you see, if you worship the devotee, if you serve the devotees, it is serving me, he told. So, if, you, if we want to serve Sri Ramakrishna, serve his devotees. So, service also a part of Worship only. So how to serve Sri Ramakrishna? Serving his devotees. Then onwards, Ramachandra Dutta started doing uh, uh, satsangas, retreats, calling devotees, feeding them. He started spending his money in proper way after telling Sri Ramakrishna. Then afterwards, uh, we all know Kakur Gacha, how it happened, everything. So, it's very clear that Divine Mother is residing in Him. Another thing is worshipping Him is, uh, our, it is to be emphasized that regular puja is necessary. So, by that, we know for certain that we are doing in a 
proper way. Along with that, how to serve Sri Ramakrishna? Serving his devotees. So, with these two things, if we keep in mind, and uh, we can run our samadhis in a proper way. Without doing Nitya Puja, only building will be there. There may be building, but that it cannot be called a school. School means what? The children must be there, teachers must be there. School is to be run. Similarly, temple means uh, without uh, Guru Maharaj or without uh, Nitya Puja, how we can call it a temple? And if you, everywhere, if cobwebs are there, not properly kept cleaned, that should not be. Being a devotees, let us give importance for regular worship and doing Nitya Puja is a must and serving his devotees, serving himself. These two things we have to keep in mind. My time is up. Thank you all. Pranam. Thank you, Maharaj. Our next lecture will be by Sri S. Vishwanadam, who is the convener of Uttar Andhra Parishad. He will speak on the topic, Service to Ashrama is verily service to Thakur Ma Swamiji. My <coughs> humble pronounced reverend Swamiji's on the dais, of the dais, and Mataji's, my dear brother devotees, sister devotees. <coughs> my topic is, service to ashrama is verily service to Thakur Ma Swamiji. Swami Vivekananda has said that Ramakrishna Sangha is Ramakrishna's very body and in this order, he is ever present. Whatever the Ramakrishna Sangha commands is the command of Sri Ramakrishna. Whoever worships the Sangha worships Sri Ramakrishna. Whoever disobeys the Sangha disobeys Sri Ramakrishna. Ramakrishna Vivekananda Bhav Prachar Parishat member ashramas are guided by commands of Beluru Ramakrishna Mat. Service to ashrama that is doing activities as per the guidelines of the Ramakrishna Mat is verily the service to Thakur Ma Swamiji. Sri Guru Maharaj and Mother Sharada one and the same. There is no difference in between them. As Yathagna Dahika Sekti, Swamiji is Guru Maharaj's voice without form. Sri Guru Maharaj has shown through the Mother Sharada how to practice his teachings and preached his teachings through Swamiji. The message of Sri Ramakrishna, Holy Mother and Swamiji is so universal and so powerful. It needs multifarious channels to suit the needs of diverse cultures, societies and human temperaments. To fulfill this diversity of needs, hundreds of small and big ashramas and other types of organizations have sprung up all over India, which function independently of the administrative control of Ramakrishna Mat and Ramakrishna Mission. Sri Ramakrishna said, that if God can be worshipped in images made of stone or wood, etc., why can he not be worshipped in human beings where he is so prominently manifested? It was from, it was from this idea expressed by Sri Ramakrishna, Sri Ramakrishna that Swami Vivekananda later developed his twin ideals as the motto of the Ramakrishna order. For the liberation of the self and for the good of the world, Atmano Mokshardam Jagat Hitaicha. Each one of us will have to achieve this short of 
identity with the whole universe that Sri Ramakrishna achieved. Then alone is true seva service possible. Swami Vivekananda says that religion cannot be preached to a person who is starving. One cannot understand spiritual truths in empty stomach. So, a man's physical needs have to be met first. Then his mental and intellectual needs will have to be attended to. Then only he can learn spiritual things. Emph emphasis should be laid on, on the path through which people will be benefited in every way, both materially and spiritually. Spiritual uplift means uplift of mankind as a whole and this was what Swamiji wanted as the basis of our life and the highest kind of service. Service is a very important factor in man's life in society. Mutual dependence is the meaning of social life. Man needs to do service and to others, others to develop himself. Again, he serves others in order to uplift them. The world is very much in needs, need of service for its well-being. Sri Ramakrishna said that when we serve people, we should look upon them as representations of the of God himself. If we serve that way, we will never be filled with the ego. We shall never consider ourselves superior to the people whom was served. We should play the role of a worshipper and the subject to whom we are offering worship should be looked upon as God in the form of a leper, God in the form of a beggar, God in the form of a sick man. We are now living in a rapidly changing world in which individual life, family life and social life and values are undergoing radically changes. The present indications are that the importance of lay devotees and the role of member ashramas in the expansion of Ramakrishna movement will grow all the more in coming decades. Member ashramas should work in those areas where the Ramakrishna Math and Mission centers could not be established so that the movement can spread more and more. Thus a small stream grows into a big river. Serving ashrama means through ashrama we have to serve mankind in every walk of life. Medical service, education, relief to distressed, financial assistance, etc. are a few of the diverse activities to serve man. Member ashramas inspired with the Swamiji's ideals should crop up everywhere and carry the torch of Ramakrishna Vivekananda in every nook and corner of the world. Today, the Ramakrishna movement has already became a remarkable force. The member ashramas have got greater responsibilities to make effective contributions to the movement. Sri Ramakrishna gave us that force which can transform the whole of our being. It is up to us to imbibe those ideas and shape our lives to confirm to them. What is needed is practical involvement in these ideas and enthusiastic struggle to realize them in our lives through ashrama activities. We have to be loyal to the ideas first and practice the same with a spirit of dedication. We are here to do as much as possible to evolve ourselves as instruments in the hands of Sri Ramakrishna so that he will change our lives and the lives of the people who will come in contact with us. <coughs> May Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna, Holy Mother Sri Sharda Devi and Swami Vivekananda bless all of us. This is my earnest prayer. Thanks to the chair for giving this great opportunity to speak here. Jai Ram Krishna.
many thanks shri vishwanatham shri amirapu natarajan will be the next speaker he will speak on the topic 3s for parishad ashramas seva sadhana and swadhyaya shri natarajan is the convener of madhya andhra parishad निरंजन निमनूपम भक्तात विग्रह वै ईशावतारम परमेशमीड्यम तम रामकृष्ण शिसा नमामि मै रेस्पेक्टेबल प्रणाम्स टू द मॉन्ग्स ऑन द स्टेज एज वेल एज ऑफ द स्टेज एंड मै स्पेशल wishes to all the rangsha devotees here as i see i am speaking to the very cream of rangsha devotees from south india that is very nice and also this is a great place the place of holy trinity where we are sitting here and i offer my pranams to the place also today the topic is 3 ss for parishad ashramas sadhana seva and swadhyaya this is a beautiful topic and then the 10 minute challenge as to the beauty of it before we go into the topic as soon as we say three ss sha 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 we remember what holy mother said forbear forbear and forbear she said you have to you have to forbear everything in life that is the greatest tapas or that is the greatest whatever that is however when we go into the topic first we have to consider the seva and sadhana sadhana and seva seva is to serve others but sadhana is to serve oneself when i do sadhana i am serving myself and then if you want to do seva that is to help others you should do sadhana because unless you have something to give what can you give swami ji famously says that a beggar's renunciation is no beg- no renunciation at all a beggar if a beggar says that i want to give a million there is no point in that and then sri ramakrishna said one very very famous teaching he said if you want to kill yourself if you have a small blade then you can kill yourself it's very easy but if you want to kill others then you should have a big sword and then there is also one more problem the other man would not be ready to die if you want to kill him you have to know how to wield the sword you know sword fight and everything then that we have to do then that means we have to earnestly do sadhana we have to acquire ourselves i do i don't want to go into more into sadhana we want to acquire mentally bodily and then spiritually swami vivekananda said one thing be good and do good here we immediately see that sadhana and seva be good is sadhana do good is seva when we say good be good what does it mean it is about our character it is about our character we have to make our character good we have to build a pure character that means we may be making so many mistakes we may be failing swami ji says if you fail a thousand times try once more we may we may want to be good we may want to do good things in in the works usually things go wrong and then we have to uh or bring ourselves together and then we have to work all the more and then the most important thing is about the ego the sadhana is more about killing the ego what we do all our lives the one thing that we all do in sadhana or in learning in going to a college or anything like that what we do is we learn to kill our ego we want to erase our ego that is important swami ji says 
there are twin national ideals. There is renunciation and service. Renunciation is what? Renunciation is giving up our ego. More than giving up our work, it is giving up our ego. That is, when you give up your ego and start working, you work far better. You cannot imagine how, how better you can work. And then Ramakrishna says about this ego, there is a, a beautiful thing. This ego is very difficult to remove because it is built into the, our very nature. So if you want to remove it, you have to make it, make the rascal ego a sevak. You make it, let it be a servant. That is what he says. And then he gives a beautiful story also. There are some washermen who are drying their clothes on the, on a, the bank of a lake, a small lake. So there was one yogi who is in great spiritual inebriation and he is walking that way and he was trampling on those clothes. So the washermen naturally they got very angry. So they came with six to beat him. Sri Vishnu sitting in the Vaikuntha was observing this and he immediately he began to run. We know the great stories. So immediately he wanted to save the devotee and he started he started to go. But right after he started, then he came back and sat down. Then Mother Lakshmi asked him, what is, what is it? You started to go and then you came back, you sat here, what is the thing? Then Vishnu said, that devotee of mine, he was trying to protect himself with a stone. He took a stone into his hand and he was about to hit them, washermen. So since he is he is trying to protect himself. There is no point in me in going and protecting him. This is one thing in sadhana and in uh, do about to when, I, when we are about to do seva. It is one important thing that we have to learn to bring God together, God forward, and put Him in front of us, and then following Him when we are working. This is the the crux of sadhana and seva. And this brings us to the idea of swadhyaya. Swadhyaya is usually uh, prescribed to read some books, to read Bhagavad Gita or Puranas or Vedas or something like that, and then reflect on them. The idea is that we must be able to analyze ourselves. The idea is to analyze ourselves. Reading scriptures is one thing, but to analyze oneself is another thing. Swami Vivekananda says that men can do anything in the world, but analyzing oneself is the most difficult thing for a man to do. He is not capable of doing that. It's very difficult. So, Swadhyaya is about analysis. Am I doing something right? Am I being correct in this? If, if I am prescribing something to somebody, am I following that? Am I good with that? That we have to go on analyzing ourselves. That is Swadhyaya. When you do this Swadhyaya, we come back to the original point where we need to have patience. Swadhyaya is very difficult. Usually, if somebody made a mistake, we go on uh, saying things about him, but if we make the same mistake, we cannot analyze and we have to we cannot scrutinize ourselves that is very necessary there comes the idea of sahana uh, swadhyaya self examination mother says forbear forbear and forbear this swadhyaya needs a lot of forbearance because it is not easy it's not easy men make mistakes people make mistakes in ashrama so many mistakes go on happening swamiji says uh, forgive, forgive, forgive offenses by the million. That's what Swami says. Swamiji says. In an organization, in running an organization, we have to forgive offenses by the million. That is very difficult. That is very difficult. We have to find our own mistakes and we have to forgive others' mistakes. That needs a lot of patience. So again, we come back to the three essences of the Holy Mother, where forbear, forbear, and forbear. I think I made some sense. Thank you so much. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Pranam.
Thank you very much, Mr. Natarajan. Our last speaker of this panel is Sri Surya Prakash Narala. He is the convener of the Telangana Parishad. He will be speaking on expectations of common people from the lay devotees of Thakurma and Swamiji. निरंजनम निच्यमनंतरूपम भक्तानुकंपाद्रुतवेग्रहम वै ईशावतारम परमेशमीज्यम तम्राम कृष्णम शिरसानमामि Our humble pranams to the lotus feet of Holy Trio and our Guru Srimad Swami Ranganandanji Maharaj and our humble pranams to the feet of Swamiji's Belurmat who has given us the opportunity to serve the society in the name of Bhava Prachara Parishad with the motto Atmano Mokchardam Jagat Hitayacha for one's own liberation and for welfare of the world. Our humble pranams to the feet of Swamiji's on the dayas and Swamiji's, Mataji's and delegates and distinguished. I have been put in English language group which is not the language of my practice in our <coughs> study. It's a beautiful language. But I feel it is inadequate to express the profound philosophies of Holy Trio. Still, I will try, so bear with me. Ramakrishna Mutt and Mission is serving the society on spiritual and humanitarian endeavors relentlessly till today against all odds. Its activities are guided by twin ideals of spiritual realization and selfless service to humanity to create a harmonious society where individuals are spiritually awakened and actively engaged in compassionate service to others. Today, we are all know that this All India Baha Prachara Parishad Convention concluding convention is convened to commemorate the foundation of 125th year of Ramakrishna mission and I feel it is, a, it is an honor to stand before you to discuss the profound topic given to me that is expectations of common people from the lay devotees of Thakurma Swamiji. Once Swamiji himself expressed uh, when uh, to write a book on um, Ra Ra Lord Ramakrishna, uh, he, he expressed that his inability to write a book on because he is so vast. So the topic is given me uh, this instrument to speak about three of the great luminaries. So still I will try. These luminaries have left an indelible mark, indelible mark on the spiritual landscape of India and the world. As we explore their teachings and lives, we will also consider the expectations common people have from the lay devotees of these great souls. Sri Ramakrishna, Paramahamsa, known as the great master Avatar Avarista, who transcended religious boundaries. His central message was direct experience of God and he practiced various religious paths to realize the, this truth. Common people expect devotees of Ramakrishna to embody his openness, acceptance of all religion, religious paths and should be living testament to the idea 
that spirituality transcends ritualistic practices. They are expected to seek God, not in the temples alone, but in the hearts of all beings. They should be inclusive, respecting the diversity of faiths and fostering harmony among different communities. They are expected to embrace simplicity, humility and selfless service. The common people anticipate that those who follow in the footsteps of Sri Ramakrishna will lead lives unburdened by materialistic pursuits. Their actions and words should be a shining example of humility, a reminder that true riches lie in the depth of one's spiritual experience. Next, Sharada Devi, affectionately known as Sharada Ma, was the spiritual companion of Sri Ramakrishna and whose grace and compassion flowed boundlessly. She showed us that spirituality is not confined to gender or a role. It is a universal truth for all souls. The common people's expectation from our devotees are profound. They anticipate that a devotee should embody the qualities of compassion and nurturing love. In a world often driven by ambition and competition, a devotee should be a source of solace and care, radiating the warmth of the Divine Mother's love to all they encounter. A devotee should actively work towards empowering women, ensuring they are given their due respect and dignity. These devotees are expected to champion the cause of women's empowerment and be role models of strength and resilience. By doing so, they carry forward the legacy of Ma Sarada, who embodied the strength and grace of the feminine spirit. Now, Swami Vivekananda. The fiery disciple of Ramakrishna was dynamic advocate for the spiritual heritage of India. The spiritual giant whose words ignited a fire of self-realization and social awakening. He emphasized the importance of self-realization and service to humanity. Common people look up to Vivekananda devotees to be torch bearers of his message. They expect to be advocates for social justice and equality. A devotee should be a voice for the marginalized and oppressed, working tirelessly to bridge the gaps that divide society. They should stand as beacons of hope, embodying the belief that every individual, regardless of their background, possesses immense potential. Fearlessness in the pursuit of truth and righteousness is a quality that common people look for in a devotee of Swami Vivekananda. They should be unafraid to challenge conventions and speak out against injustice guided by the unwavering principles of truth and righteousness. They are expected to be intellectual and well-versed in the teachings of Vedanta and Yoga, capable of sharing these profound philosophies with the world. These devotees are also expected to be socially conscious, engaging in selfless service for the upliftment of society. In summary, the expectations of common people from the lay devotees of Ramakrishna, Ma Sarada, and Swami Vekananda are rooted in their teachings and examples. They should embody inclusivity, simplicity, humility, and selfless service following in the footsteps of Ramakrishna. They should offer nurturing and compassion like Shardama, particularly in support of women. They should be intellectually and spiritually grounded, actively engaged in the betterment of society, just as Swami Vekananda envisioned. These expectations are not mere ideals but a reflection of the enduring impact these great souls have has on humanity. As we strive to live up to these expectations, we continue to draw inspiration from the lives and teachings of Sri Ramakrishna Paramahamsa, Sarda Devi, and Swami Vivekananda, contributing to a more harmonious and spiritually enriched world. Let us, members of this noble convention, strive to achieve these expectations not just in words, but in the actions that define our lives. Together, let us continue to carry forward the legacy of these great souls, spreading the message of love, service, and universal brotherhood to every corner of the world. 
thank you one and all for giving this opportunity thank you shri narala now we have come to the last event of this session which is the chairman's address revered swami satyajnanananda ji maharaj who is the chairman of this session will now give his address revered maharaj is secretary ramkrishna mission students home chennai ओम स्थापकाय च धर्म से सर्वधर्मस्वरूपिने अवतार वरिष्ठा रामकृष्णा ते नम मई हमबल प्रणाम्स टू कन्वीनर ऑफ दि कन्वीनर स्वामीजी ऑफ दि बा प्रसार समिति जश्नो महाराज सरवड हेयर एंड ऑल दि एलर स्वामीजी एंड बेस्ट विशेष फॉर ऑल अदर डेलीगेट्स एंड डिवोटी we are very fortunate to be here in the belur math in the month of marga shirsha that is in south india we call margali this is the month for all spiritual practices it's favorable they for the practices of spiritual disciplines in this margali month and belur math has arranged a wonderful arrangement for all the delegates and the topics from the morning we are covered many topics even the title of the topics itself is very inspiring any bhav prachar center member ashrama if they go through the topics how much care they have taken to develop a center maintain a center and growth of the center so all these topics are very wonderful even this session all the swamis and the other conveners they spoke very nicely about the parishad because running a member ashrama is not very easy thing so many misunderstandings will come so many challenges will come financial social and other family problems also you have to face monks we don't face family problems but you are having a family to support and you have got other social life also that should not get damaged with all these difficulties member ashrama is doing a very wonderful work because recent years in tamil nadu itself four member ashramas have become affiliated to ramkrishna mission this has happened because of the lay devotees formed that ashrama given their life and blood to that ashrama and it has grown in such a big manner they can't handle only mission can handle then mission steps into that and they are taking even if we see in baranagar mat how much that swami ji have suffered but after 125 years how much we are having facility almost 300 centers morning maharaj was telling 300 centers have come ramakrishna mat and ramakrishna machine this normally it cannot be done only by the sadhus swami is unless devotees help completely it is there then this growth is possible even last financial year more than 1174 crores service activities it is not the our asset if you calculate it goes <laughs> in many 1000 crores it will go so this growth is possible only monks and lay devotees coming together and doing wonderful service this now we are seeing only 125 we all know swami ji has told Guru Maharaj, Mother Swami Ji, message is for another thousand five hundred years. We are in the early period of uh, the growth, so another even hundred and fifty years. If we come, maybe 
instead of 1000 member ashrama it may be 20000 uh, 10000 member ashramas may be there so the growth is in that fast way it is growing because people don't have any other channel or any other ashramas to go genuinely if they are spiritual only they have to come for guru maharaj mother and swami ji they, their teachings are so inspiring so uh, life giving messages even we are all organizers member ashrama secretaries and presidents are there we know by doing a small service to takur how much we have transformed our life would have been entirely different if we have not come in touch with the mission or the mat centers. So, so much we got the benefit in a small period itself. So, this mission has to go for another 1500 years. So, our efforts, our energy, our whole dedication, our surrender to Guru Maharaj should be more and more and people are in demand for this type of teachings, especially youngsters. And member ashramas, each member ashrama is unique. They are doing in a very, very different way, but everything is necessary. In one ashrama in South India, 25 monastics have joined from that single ashrama, boys and girls. So that much is the capacity of a member ashrama. Like that, many ashramas do, no ashrama is small or big. All are doing in their own way and definitely these thousand member ashramas will become thousand affiliated centers in coming years. So, your, all your hard work, all your dedication, all your surrender to Guru Maharaj will bear fruit in a big way once it becomes a affiliated center, their growth is phenomenal. It grows in a multiple way. So, we are all very blessed to be associated with the mission. So, we, we have to work hard and we have to all Sangat Chattum, that song is there. That song itself explains how to live in the ashrama life. As much we Reduce our ego, we are fit to the instrument of the Guru Maharaj. We can merge with the other people. people. People will be having different opinions, different points of view. But if our ego is less, definitely we can solve that problem and we can achieve much more things. And that is the small thing, smallest thing we can offer to Sri Ramakrishna, Sri Sarada Devi and Vivekananda. Let, the, let, us, let them give us long life to do his service and good health. Thank you. If there is any other delegate who would want to share his ideas, we may be able to give five or ten minutes. Otherwise, we will have to wind up this session here. Yes, after him. We'll Guru Maharaj we'll on the stage of now. Guru Maharajas and in front of my. We'll stick to five minutes. <coughs> oh, one, two minutes I will take. All elders and all my brothers and sisters. Namaskar. I am from Varangal, Anmakonda, Ramakrishna Seva Samiti. I want to say only one thing. We are publishing our weekly, monthly gadget. And pricely gadget is 20 rupees. In that way, only Telugu is there. Like that, I want to spread uh, Hindi and English. If you spread like that, that uh, our Samiti advertisements uh, and what are the work done by our daily and devotees, uh, that will be published. Thank you very much. Om Stapakaya Chadharmasya Sarvadharmaswarupine Avatara Varishtaya Rama Krishna Yate Namaha Jananim Sharadam Devim Rama Krishnam Jagat Gurum Padapadme Tayo Sritva Pranamami Muhur Muhuhu 
नमस्तिराजाय विवेकानंदसूर सच्चिसुखस्वूपय स्वामी नेतापहारिणे पूजनीय महाराज ऑन द डैस एंड ऑफ द डैस एंड स्वामीनीस रेस्पेक्टेड स्वामीनीस एंड रेस्पेक्टेड अवर सदर्न डिस्ट्रिक्ट सदर्न स्टेट्स सिस्टर्स एंड ब्रदर्स नमस्ते टू एवरीबडी रियली वी आर ऑल ब्लेस्ड फॉर द टू डेज our guru maharaj ma sharada and swami vivekananda showered their divine grace on us to be in this deva bhumi it is deva bhumi our thakur is living here our thakur our ma is here all the direct disciples uh, are living here and if ma is here ma is mahalakshmi if mahalakshmi is here all the devis will be living here so this is deva bhumi as mahapurush ji mahapurush maharaj had told and really i am very much blessed to be here and to be in the sangha's headquarters and seeing the swami is here and i am sachidananda priyamba swamini of sri sharada ashram ullundur pet yesterday Uh, the day before yesterday our vice president maharaj gautaman ji maharaj had come to our ashram to open the shrine the new shrine and we are we are very much blessed to have him there on the day and after that only we, we are here and uh, our ashram sarada ashram is blessed only because of the blessings of our maharaj uh, the monks of the ramkrishna order the senior monks of the Sha- ramkrishna order the sarada ashram is working 150 villages in tamil nadu and one one interesting matter because in 150 villages ma sharada is very famous everybody will worship ma sharada there even Uh, up to 31st uh, of this month every day in five villages ma jayanti is being celebrated in five villages and more than 10000 women are doing um, vilaku puja that is uh, deepa puja is celebrated for celebrating ma jayanti and uh, 150th ratotsav our maharaj only uh, had um, um, our satya gyananand ji maharaj our baba prachar parishad head maharaj he had guided us a lot for the for celebrating 150th mothers jayanti Ma- maharaj was the in charge for at that time and at that time we were in we were working in 57 villages and all the villages ma was um, worshiped and after that in 150th ratotsav of swami ji jayanti we were, we were confusing a lot how to celebrate how to say the magnanimity of swami ji to the village people but what they had taken you know they all had taken oh the son of our holy mother we will worship him it is not the swami ji he had been to chicago and propagated the ideals of sri ramakrishna nothing doing like that they all told oh he is a son of our holy mother no son of our ma sharada okay we will worship him so this is the thing they had taken about swami ji so holy mother holy mother is very famous and everybody is having full faith on holy mother it is all because of the showering divine grace of our monks of the order they had guided us a lot um, uh, our vice president maharaj only had first first he had been there to open the shrine of the sharada ashram in ulundur pet in tamil nadu and uh, we are very much blessed to have all their ashirwads 
and grace. And thank you, Maharaj. Revered Swami Atma Prabhananda Ji Maharaj, Secretary Ramakrishna Mission Bhuvaneshwar. Maharaj will address us. Respected and dear Maharajis on the dais and revered Maharajis and dear Maharajis sitting in front of us. Dear delegates coming from the different member ashrams, Matajis and friends. So I am grateful to the Chairman Maharaj for giving me a chance to speak a few words. In Odisha, of course, uh, there are so many <coughs> enthusiastic people to have great regard for the Holy Trial, Thakur Maya and Samiji. You know, Odisha is fond of Jagannath culture. But recently what we see, the elite people and the educated youth, they are gradually inclined to accept Thakur Ma and Swamiji. So whenever any Swamiji goes, President, Vice President Maharaj, etc., for initiation, more and more number of people, the devotees, they come to our asthma for initiations. Recently, we had our annual camp, annual conference, conference at Malkangiri Asrama. So, the arrangement and the enthusiasm of the general people, the devotees, it is uh, amazing. It's very encouraging. The young people, the aged people, they're coming forward. And more and more people are purchasing books from our book sale counters. So uh, we are very glad to see the scenario. Now, uh, here this conference of All India Conference of Ramakrishna Vivekananda Bhaprachar Parishad is a very rare thing. I think I would request the authorities at Belur Mott to organize more and more conferences like this in the days to come. Thank you. Om Namo Bhagavate Ramakrishnaya. I am K. Satya Prasad Rai from a place called Khamam in Telangana. My humble pronouns to the Chairman Maharaj and revered Maharaj and the Dais and of the Dais and pronouns to the Matajis and to the feet of all the Bhaktagan. The very opportunity of being a delegate here in this historic event itself is nothing less than a lifetime achievement award for us. <laughs> and I cannot express in words my happiness and my gratitude for the kindness you, the Central Committee of Bhava Prachar Parishat, has showered on us, the way you have received us and the, the love you <coughs> gave us. It's very. Now we have to go back with a, a little sense of guilt what are we giving back to the Sangha? Sangha is loving us this much enormously. And what are we going to give back to Sangha? Now we have to rethink ourselves. Thank you, Maharaj, for giving us such a great opportunity. Now, just what one little idea I would like to share with this gather assembly within one minute. <coughs> there is a saying in Bhagavata. Masyashva kachyavar simha varaha hamsa rajanya vipra vibudheshu krutavatara. The Brahma and other gods 
describe Lord Krishna when he was in his mother's womb. Lord, you were born as Masya, Ashwa, Kachapa, all the Shavataras. And I think the shloka very befittingly suits Guru Maharaj also. In Mashavatara, Vishnu brought back the knowledge, the treasure of knowledge, Vedas, stolen by the demons. So the demons of westernization, the demon of westernization stole our Sanatana Dharma and Guru Maharaj brought back the Vedic Dharma in his simple language and the idiom of the day. Kachapa. He is the ground, the land on which we can churn the ocean of our life and get what is truth and what is untruth. So that way he becomes the Kachapa. Masha Ashwavatara Hayagriva. He gave the Lalita Sahasra Nama. Hayagriva gave the names of holy names of Lalita Mata. Guru Maharaj used to chant Durga Mai, Kali, Ma, Tarini, like this. With, with his own very sweet voice, he would like, he used to call God's names. So that's why he becomes Ashwa, Hayagriva Avatar. Masha Ashwa Kachapa, Nrusimha. Nrusimha killed the demon of Hiranya Kachapa. He is the Samshaya Nasha Mahastram. He is killing all the evil and all these samsyas in this age. Kurchev was of Rusimha, Varaha. Varaha, he, you see, he uplifted the earth itself from the deluge. So, Guru Maharaj, he himself uplifted the entire dharma, our nation, both Guru Maharaj and Swamiji uplifted the entire, the earth, the Bharata Varsha. Uplifting Bharata Varsha is uplifting the earth itself. Like that, Kachapa, Simha, Varaha, Hamsa, Hamsa means Bhagavan taught the dharma to Sanaka, Sanatnara, Sanatkumara silently. In Kashipur, Guru Maharaj taught all the paraphernalia and all the mantras needed for us to Swami Vivekananda. Swami, the, all these things, all the workings of Swami Vivekananda, Vivekananda is nothing but the software of Swami Ram, Ramakrishna Paramahamsa. The software of all the software was given to <coughs> Swami Vivekananda. Hamsa, Vara Hamsa, Rishimha, Vipra Vibhudeshu. Buddha, Vipra means Vamana Avatara. The most contentment, embodiment of contentment. <coughs> the most poorest of the poor was Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna. Of course, we children are rich, but he was the poorest of the poor. We know that. So, he was the embodiment of contentment. Like this, if you go on enumerating the qualities of Guru Maharaj, it suits very well with the Bhagavata. And that's why there was a Ramakrishna Bhagavatam written by Ramanjan sir. With this, I would like to thank you for allowing me to share this ideas. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you.